Check out FlipSideGaming.com for all your gaming needs. Use the promo code HEROES to save 10% on all orders over $10. Hey there, this is John from Heroes and Legends, and welcome to the special edition of the Magic the Other Market Watch. It's that time of the week again where we count down the 10 hottest Magic cards of the week. And the previous weekend was a huge shopping weekend, so there's been a lot of card prices moving. If you are curious as to how we find the top 10 cards every week, we look at two pieces of criteria. The first is value increases by percentage, and the second is actually an increase in sales, not just an increase in asking price. That's going to help us filter out some of the market manipulation that does occur out there. Quickly, though, before we get started, just a fast reminder, if you go over to FlipSideGaming.com, you can use that Heroes promo code to save 10% on orders over $10. Currently, you can pre-order Keldheim products on the website there. And remember to use that Heroes promo code to save. If you use the code on a set booster box, for example, it will go down to $103.50. A collector booster box goes down to $216. And as a reminder, whenever you spend at least $100, or if you have an order that just consists of singles, shipping will be free in the United States. Also, too, whenever you use the promo code, it does support the channel, which is always appreciated. So thank you. And without any further ado, let's get into it. Number 10 is Demonic Pact. This goes up $1.94 this week to $5.48 for a 55% increase. This card has been seeing increased play because of Commander Legends. That's going to be an ongoing theme throughout a lot of this video today, but in particular, this is seeing more play in Commander decks that feature cards like Blim Comedic Genius, Gan Arcanum Weaver, and Obeka Brute Chronologist. Number 9 is Stitch in Time. The Guild Pack copy goes up 256 to 698. That is a 58% increase. The Guilds of Ravnica is a Guild Kit copy, goes up 337 to 772, and that is a 78% increase. This is another card seeing increased play because of a card from Commander Legends. That is the partner commander, Krark the Thumbless. Number 8 is Priya's Shield. This goes up 365 to 869 for a 72% increase. And this one is seeing increased commander play because of Jared Cathalian True Air from Commander Legends. Number 7 is Liege of the Hollows going up 458 this week to 1017 for an 82% increase. Now this one is not moving directly because of Commander Legends. It is a reserve list card, so of course this is getting harder to find in good condition, but the reason this is moving this much right now is because of a new secret layer called We Hope You Like Squirrels. Number 6. Okay, back to cards that are moving because of Commander Legends. This is Tectonic Instability. It goes up 598 this week to 1095, and that is a 120% increase. This is moving because of increased Commander play in your lock of Scorch Thrash builds. Number 5 is Exorcist. It goes up 631 to 1750 for a 56% increase. Now this one is on the reserve list, and that is really the main reason this particular card is moving. Doesn't see a whole lot of play, a little commander play here or there, but there's been a lot of reserve list cards recently that have been jumping up in value quickly. Some were targeted buyouts, some sold out more naturally, but regardless, it does have players thinking that it might be time to prioritize some of these reserve list cards that I've been meaning to pick up. Now, additionally, this is a pretty big jump for one week percentage-wise, so I have to wonder if this is maybe the start of a buyout we're seeing here, or this could just be from the increased purchasing that occurred last weekend. Number four is Martyr's Cry. This goes up also 631 to 1825 this time, and that is a 53% increase. This is also on the reserve list. Basically, everything I said about Exorcist applies to this card too, and you may have noticed reserve list cards from the dark in particular have been hot recently. Number three is a new card from Commander Legends that is Hull Breacher. It goes up 1134 to 2975 for a 62% increase. Now that's really saying something considering Commander Legends just came out, a lot of packs are being cracked, cards are getting into circulation, so most cards are going down in value, but this is jumping and it's jumping a lot. Why is that? Well, it is seeing a lot of Commander play in various builds, old and new, which you might expect. But this card is also seeing play in other formats. In Legacy, it's showing up in Esper Vile, Snow Miracles, Karn Echoes, and more. It's also seeing a fair amount of early vintage play. Also, more attention was brought to this fact because a lot of content creators were featuring this card in videos and articles last week. Number two is Final Fortune. The sixth edition copy goes up 913 to $30. That is a 44% increase. The seventh edition up 987 to 3401. That is a 41% increase. 
And the Mirage copy jumped up 23.45 to 44.99 for a 109% increase if you're doing the math at home. So this is seeing increased play because of a new Commander Legends card. This is showing up in builds of Obeka Brute Chronologist in the Commander format. Also, this did get a Command Zone mention last week, which I don't really think this card needed the help, but it could have brought a little more attention to it. And number one is Last Chance. Everything I said about Final Fortune applies to this card. However, this is even harder to find in good condition because the print runs on this were a little bit lower compared to Final Fortune. Also, it's been a little bit longer since this card has had a reprint. Portal goes up 66.20 to 157.75. That is a 72% increase. And Starter 1999 goes up 68.15 to $150. That is an 83% increase. All right, that concludes our top 10 hottest magic cards of the week. Until next time, hey, thanks for watching. Please remember to like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, thanks for watching. This video is made possible through the generous support of viewers like you on Patreon. Check out the description below for links to our Patreon page as well as our Amazon affiliate store where a small percentage of all sales will also help support the channel. Finally, if you haven't had a chance yet to subscribe, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the new videos on Heroes and Legends. Talk to you again soon and have a great day.